Dear fellow Singaporeans and supporters of the Workers' Party, good evening! My name is Chen Jia Si Bernard, and I'm the Workers' Party candidate for McPherson SMC. Come here, come here. Tonight, in my speech, I want to leave you questions that matter to the future of this nation, questions that you have to think about carefully before casting your vote this coming Friday, questions that will set the WP apart from the PAP. The election process is an exciting one, filled with much anticipation and contemplation. Casting your vote, especially for the very first time, is an empowering process. Your vote can potentially shape the future of our nation. It is a serious decision, but one that I believe all voters will undertake after much responsible thought. The Workers' Party believes that young Singaporeans are the catalyst for a brighter future for Singapore. As such, the Workers' Party proposes to lower the voting age from 21 to 18. This will encourage our young people to have an early interest in political governance. The moment our young people can vote for the future of this nation is the moment our people can dream of a better and empowered future together. So, let's empower them and take this nation to greater heights. As you go to the polls in two days' time, Ask yourself the following two questions. Number one, what is the kind of political culture you want to see in Singapore? Question number two, what is the kind of Singapore you want your children and grandchildren to grow up in? So let's address the first question first. Ask yourself this, do you want a political culture where the grassroots and community life are politicised for the eventual benefit of one political party? Or do you want a grassroots where towns and neighbourhoods are co-owned and our heritage protected and preserved? Do you want a political culture where the GRC system dilutes the voice of the individual voter? Or do you want a political culture where elections are run on single seats with individual MPs fully accountable to residents? One by one, deal. I'm running in the single seat of McPherson and throughout the last nine days, I've been trying to earn the support and vote of each and every voter in McPherson. The same can be said of my opponent. If Ms. Tim Paling can run in a single seat, I am sure all our present and future ministers can hold their own and contest in a single seat. Sadly, they are hiding behind the cover of a GRC system. Just as you have applauded me for my courage, I would like to applaud Ms. Tin for standing up and upholding a clean campaign throughout the last nine days. <laughs> Young Singaporeans ten, can take part in politics and do it well. Now back to political culture. Do you want a political culture? where the ruling party can threaten residents with the withdrawal of governmental projects and infrastructure development according to the level of support they receive at the general election? Or do you want a government that will serve all Singaporeans, regardless whether they are PAP or WP supporters? In order to better empower our future, the Workers' Party 
seeks to enhance the democratic process and strengthen parliamentary sovereignty. Members of Parliament should be made fully and clearly accountable to Singaporeans, while partisan gerrymandering and the gaming of the electoral system under the auspices of the Prime Minister's office should be eliminated and guarded against. The powers of Parliament should be enhanced to strengthen its oversight over the executive, especially in the areas of the scrutiny of bills, checks on governmental expenditure, and public education on parliamentary work. Parliament should establish its own cross-partisan public consultation select committee supported by a secretariat. Public consultation on prospective legislation should be transferred from the present feedback portal reach to the Public Consultation Select Committee. After the conclusion of the select public consultation process, a report should be tabled in Parliament for the Cabinet to respond to. This committee should also be given the power to decide whether a bill should be sent to a select committee for scrutiny. Underlying all these proposals to empower Singaporeans' future is a very simple belief. The government needs to listen more and talk less. There is a saying in Hokkien. Ani Kwan Kong, ah. Mai tiam tiam yi nang kong la. Si wa nang kong e si zun liao la, ha. Question number two. What is the kind of Singapore you want your children and grandchildren to live in? Do you want a more democratic, diverse Singapore where policies are properly debated and scrutinized by responsible and constructive MPs from different political parties? Or do you want a parliament that is made up entirely of PAP MPs? Do you want a more people-oriented Singapore where all Singaporeans can live, thrive as citizens? Or do you want a results-driven Singapore where Singaporeans and your child are no more than mere digits on an annual report? Do you want a Singapore that values creativity and encourages our children to dream big and think out of the box? Or do you want a Singapore where examination continues to be the sole determining factor in your children and grandchildren's future? Dear fellow Singaporeans, the choice is clear. If you envision a Singapore where the kampong spirit, the community spirit, is a result of co-ownership of the grassroots, vote for the Workers' Party. If you envision a Singapore where all the seats at the general elections are contested over ideas and policies in single seats throughout the island. Vote for the Workers' Party. If you envision a Singapore that is democratically diverse, a Singapore that respects all citizens, regardless of their political affiliation, and a Singapore that is once again an inspiration to young Singaporeans, Vote for the Workers' Party. <laughs> Dear residents of Medpherson, please allow me to take this opportunity to say a word of thanks. Thank you for your warm handshakes and, the, and for inviting me into your house. Thank you for the every packet drink that you have so generously placed before me. Thank you for sharing your stories your joys and your worries with me. Thank you, residents of Medpherson. Thank you for cheering me on every step of the way. Come September 11, let's translate the warm support that all of us, all 28 candidates has been receiving over the last nine days into votes for me in Medpherson and the entire Workers' Party team.
Please allow me to say a few words in Chinese before continuing in English. My boss and the Ji Ming Ren, 九月十一日，让我们携手一起打造一个属于我们的麦波森。九月十一日，让我们化你们这九天给予我们的支持为选票，让我有机会成为你们在国会里的大义士。Fellow Singaporeans, you hold the future of this nation in your hands. This is your home and mine. We hold in our hands the ability to shape the collective future of our children and grandchildren. I am not giving up, and you should not. There's so much left to be done. We need Singaporeans to serve one another. And to leave this nation a better and more prosperous place than the ones we inherited from our forefathers, if we have the same determination that we see in the eyes of the pioneer generation, if we have the same kind of passion that we saw in our founding fathers, and if we have the same dedication to public service that so many of us in this country have, Singapore. Will never ever fail. We, as a people, can do better than this. We, as a people, will do better than this. We, as a people, have to do better than this. Come September 11. Let's go to the polling booth together and vote for the Workers' Party to empower your future, my future, and our future. Thank you.